What's up, YouTube? Snipes here with TKO Gaming, and we are here about to do, I mean, sorry, kill Oryx's daughters. We are some fucked up guardians, my friends. We have killed this man's whole damn family. You can't blame him for being mad. Only things left is his wife. Taken Queen might come out. Who knows? But anyways, here I'm going to show you guys the mechanics. Thank you guys so much for all the support for the tutorials that I've been putting out for you guys. The guides, the cheeses, all that beautiful PvP stuff on the live stream. Be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. But here are the mechanics for this part of the raid. Before I start, thank you guys so much for getting here. You guys are freaking awesome. Encourage your fire team. Keep that positivity alive. You will get this done. There's these platforms that form that have lights on. One man on your fire team will be torn between dimensions. His screen will be some epileptic seizure, black and white. Be careful because I'm serious. That shit is trippy. That man is going to have to jump on these platforms, get on the last platform, get the orb, the rift ball slam dunk thing, and slam dunk the shit out of the witch, the daughter. The daughter that is not going crazy is always the one that you slam dunk, okay? Now, how do you form those light platforms, you ask? Well, there's four platforms uh, on the ground that four members of your fire team that are not torn between uh, the dimensions will have to get on uh, in order. And I will explain the order in the next wave we do. But once that individual goes and slam dunks that witch, you guys come and I think the area we're in is pretty good. Tethering the witch and weapons of light help a lot and you just DPS the shit out of them. Now, you see that top light orb where the indicator is? That is always going to be the last platform. That's the light the guardian is going for. The platform to the right of that will always be platform number one. I am currently in the video on platform number three. You have to get on each platform, give a couple seconds in between the platforms when you get on, you have to get, them, get on them in order, and then you will start forming the platforms with the light. The light platforms will uh, be spawning, the sniper spawns, so be very careful. They spawn at about 40 seconds remaining on, on the screen when you see that. And you want to take those out. You want to continuously kill those taken enemies, not fallen enemies. I've said that a lot in my last video. And then once the witch that is not singing gets slam dunk, and they always just switch. You know, one witch on the left, one right, one left, one right. You just got to uh, keep in mind it goes back and forth. You get here. You get weapons of light, uh, tether like I am now, and just DPS the shit out of the witch. Now keep in mind, guys, here... I think we're about to kill her in one wave. The reason why we have so much time to kill her is because we were very quick. When the guy, when the Taken guy gets that the epileptic seizure thing, the timer starts. You want to make sure he, uh, you form the platforms and get him to get the, the orb and slam dunk on one of the witches as fast as possible. Or um, you won't have enough time to DPS her. Well, she's dead. And I died. But it's okay if you die. Don't panic. It's, the raid is normal. You can respond. So don't trip. And that is why your teammates are there. I don't even know why I died. I think the reason I died is because... Actually, I know the reason I died. When the light is done, that tether shield is gone. So you're not, you're not protected anymore. You need to divert. I didn't divert. I was an idiot. I'm sorry. Hey, learn from my mistakes and teach your fire team. Anyways, so... I will be re revived just in time for the next platform, or, or I could be the flu. Oh, no, no, I'll be revived. There you go. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to set up for the last wave to kill the witch on the left. Now, see that shield? That is the last platform. That means the platform to the right of that shield is platform number one. Right now, everyone's on their platforms. I am the guy who's just going to be like an idiot jumping around, but you want to be making sure that you're killing enemies for your teammates. And they're going to go on the platforms in order. You want to make sure, once again, that you wait in between each platform just a couple seconds to make sure that that platform has been activated first. If you jump on the platforms at the same time, it will mess it up. And if you mess up, it's a freaking wipe, my friends. But keep in mind, if you kill one witch, you have to kill the next witch in the next wave. If you do not, that witch will kill you. Keep that in mind, my friends. You have to. To kill so right now the other witch is dead right we one waved her here we have to one wave the switch which is easy because you know her health was super low anyways boom she's dead guys if you have any questions uh just post them in the, uh, below i try to keep my uh, tutorials very concise make sure you rewind um wh when you can or when you have to and look at that beautiful 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 rewards my friend thank you guys so much for watching thank you thank you thank you good luck you made it this far go watch my oryx video kill that piece of shit make sure to hit the thumbs up it helps so much subscribe and come tune into our live stream where we help viewers live with the raid twitch.tv slash real tko gaming i'm out for now guys peace